Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we're looking again at the Minkiati decks, but this time I want to do a comparison between the Minkiati Tarot by Brian Williams and the Minkiati uh, Truria by um, the, uh, the Lower Scarabio uh, deck that was released this year, which is uh, 2018. So, um, yeah, I want to just go ahead and talk about it. If you want to take a quick look uh, at the deck themselves, at the decks themselves, um, you can refer to the other two videos where I look um, only at the Minkiati Tarot or only at the Minkiati Etruria. So we're going to uh, move through this pretty quickly again today. And um, firstly, I just want to talk about uh, the differences in the packaging. Of course, the Minkiati Etruria is a box that is of this size here and it opens like this and as I mentioned in the previous video it's it's quite loose here okay the Minkiate um, tarot comes in a box like that it opens like this and the cards are stored in two um, areas like that um, it's not the best um, quality or the, it's it's quite um, it's not the finest um, card quality here and it's as you can see it's already uh, pushing in and uh, falling apart it's it's not very sturdy it won't last a very long time um, if you plan to keep your cards in this deck and use them regular I mean in this box and use it regularly it will be worn uh, pretty soon I would imagine so that's your um, your your boxes I'm gonna just put them out of the way here and um, the book that comes with the Minkiate Tarot uh, by uh, Brian Williams uh, describes each of the cards here in a fair amount of detail. As well as, um, yeah, including the, the, the other cards, uh, like the astrological cards, as well as the, 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 the virtue cards, um, and the 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 elemental cards as well, uh, which are yeah, which are part of the major arcana in this in this particular deck. So um, yeah, you have your divinity meaning, your notes uh, on the illustration, and uh, it's it's a fair bit of detail if you are uh, curious about the actual Mikiate. Uh, tarot. So this is the book that comes with the Mikiate Tarot by Brian Williams. And I'm just going to put that also out of the way here. And this is the book that comes with the Mikiate Etruria. And if you look at it, it has, uh, it opens out like this and like that. Okay. And it basically is in um, several languages. It's in, um, yeah, it's in Chinese. Um, in English, Chinese, French, Spanish, and um, Brazil, um, Portuguese, as well as Russian. Okay, I'm oh, sorry, I just had that off the camera while I was uh, reading that to you. Um, but yeah, those are the languages that are in here. And it's just a really brief description. You have the temperance card here, as well as here. And you have that, um, yeah, you, that's basically where you find that. Um, and you have a, a brief, very brief note about the Minkiate, the origins of it. And then you have all the numbers of the cards here of the Major Arcana, that is. And you have 40 cards in the Major Arcana. And really the main uh, difference is um, between the two decks is that this one is in the Roman numerals and... Um, the the card of the um, the Brian Williams deck uh, doesn't have the Roman numerals. You have the um, the Arabic uh, numerical system that's used here, and um, so that that is uh, it's just a couple of pages here, as you can see. That's in English, and then it's the other languages. So it's just a few pages only. So that's um, the book here. And putting that out of the way. And then the Minkiati Etruria comes with a couple of cards. Um, oops, this actually belongs to the deck itself. Um, but it comes with, um, yeah, a card like this, which just basically shows you the background. This is the back. And 
and it uh, states that it's the Los Garbio Anima Antiqua. Um, it also states here, it says Firenze 1806 to 1807, which is when these images, um, of when these images are uh, used or reproduced. So um, I'm going to go into the uh, major arcana already. So I'm going to go ahead and begin uh, uh, showing you the cards in comparison with each other. So in case you hadn't noticed, this is the, the background of the of the deck for the Brian Williams deck, the Minkiati Tarot. It has the name here, Brian Williams. All right, and as I've shown you already, Okay, and we are looking at the full card. So this is your full card. That's your magician. And you can pause this video at any point. And so this is your second card um, here, which is called the Grand Duke. the Western Emperor. So here's your equivalent of the lovers. It's the number five, as you see here. It's the fifth card, so here. Temperance. This is your temperance there. strength. So as you can see the Brian Williams deck is, is a very it's very easy in the eye so if you're not used to this kind of imagery um, and you you'd like something more modern or easier on the eye this is the the option that you have here okay so justice your wheel of fortune. Your chariot, your hermit, which is called time in this deck, your hind man. So, once again, just go ahead and pause the video as you see fit. So, this is your death card. The images are very light, actually. So this camera really doesn't perfectly capture um, the, this image and the coloring here. It looks darker than it actually is. And in fact, when I lay it down here, this is this is more of what it, it yeah. It doesn't really look so deep. These these reds are not that deep on the color. It's actually very light. It feels like it's been washed over. So that's your devil here. your tower. Your card of hope. Prudence is the next one. Charity. So they are quite similar as you can see, but not exactly so. And you have your fire card. So you're in your elementals now and you have water. Then you have the earth. You have air. So I've just 
zoomed in there for you so that you can um, have a better look at these cards. Your Libra. Your Virgo. Scorpio, quite simply, a Scorpio. Your Aries. Capricorn here. Your Sagittarius, if you note, they're pointing in different directions. They both have a, a sow or a pig um, underneath here. Cancer. Here on its side. Pisces. So the older deck, the uh, Minkiate Turia, has a more real look to it, whereas the uh, Brian Williams one has a, a more kind of um, fancy appeal to it. So this is your Aquarius, quite different in a way. Tall, young, muscular, toned at least, and here much older. Leo, also facing the opposite directions. Taurus. Your Gemini, here they are male, here they are female. The star, the moon, similar but different. Here there's clouds, uncertainty, here not. Your sun. The world. Fame or your trumpets. It's actually your trumpets. It's referred to as your trumpets in the um, Minkiati Etruria. But um, yeah, see, for me, it's really your judgment card. And I think many people who use this card uh, or this deck are... Use this as a judgment card. It's definitely a calling from above, at the very least. Can't doubt that. So here's your Ace of Staves. Wands, your Ace of Wands. That's your two. Your three, your four, five, your six. Your seven. Notice the extra detail here. The cele celebratory aspect of it. Also with a nine. And 
of the tin. The page. Here. The page of Wands. The Knight of Wands. They're both facing the same direction. And your Queen. And your King. So that's that. Your Ace of Cups here. Your Two of Cups. Your Three of Cups. Both have the Lion with the Sash going through. The Monkey with the Mirror. Although this one looks more like a man. Your Five of Cups. Your Six of Cups. Your Seven of Cups. Your Eight of Cups here. Your Nine of Cups. And your Ten of Cups. Or Chalices. So here you have what he, she, he calls the handmaid of cups or your princess or your page here, your knight looking in opposite directions, your queen of cups and your king of cups. Your Ace of Swords, your Two of Swords, your Three of Swords, Four of Swords, your Five of Swords. And your Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. Note the detail here and the color selection. Also, um, what I failed to mention is that um, the uh, different suits here, yeah, coins, is pink. Uh, here, the uh, swords are an orange, yellowish orange. The staves are a different color. They're like a turquoise, like a green. And the um, all of the major arcana was this purplish color here, which looks like blue, but it's actually purple. We have the cups, which are blue. Okay. So we're moving on to the Ten of Swords. And all the tens have that uh, sword going across and this one going through there um, in the Turia. Whereas there's a different formation here. We have your Page of Swords here, which is called the Page of Swords. Your Knight of Swords. 
your queen of swords. She looks a lot younger here. And your king of swords. And so for the last uh, suit, we are looking at coins. It's your ace of coins. Two of coins. It follows, it matches here, but the head looks uh, to the left and here directly. Three of coins. Four of coins. Here the, is the sense that he looks perched upon the elephant and as if he's one with the elephant. And here you can't be sure if he wants to attack the elephant or if he's um, pointing the sword at, an, at an, or the arrow rather at another. Also that's um, quite an odd looking elephant. So we have your five of pentacles here. Also, here yeah, the, the difference is that uh, this face looks that way, whereas this one looks ahead. This face looks to the right, is what I meant. And the rest match. For those of you who are interested in the kind of detail, your six of pentacles. Seven of pentacles. Actually, that's your Seven of Pentacles here. Eight of Pentacles or Eight of Coins as he calls it here. You have your Five up there and your Three down here, which is um, typical of the Migiati cards. There's a distinction, it's not a Four and Four, it's a, there's a distinction between the Five and the Three which I think is integral to the meaning. Then you have your nine here, also with birds, or winged animals. And you have your 10 of coins or pentacles here. And uh, we have here again the handmade of coins. Okay, not the page, but the handmade again. The Princess of Pentacles or the Page of Pentacles, Handmaiden, Handmaid, your Knight, he looks like he's just posing here, um, and he looks um, like it's an arduous task to hold that pentacle up. And here we have your Queen of Pentacles. She is also looking really young here, always barefoot. She is indoors, here not. And then your last card here is your King of Coins. So, um, oh, Pentacles. So I hope that was um, helpful for you. And for those of you who are considering buying this deck or just like to know the differences between the Etruria, I mean, yeah, the Minkiati decks, the Etruria and the, just the tarot, and who want to get a feel of what it's about, um, well, I hope this this um, reading has been useful for you. And as I mentioned, um, the, the suits are color-coded here as well. So... Um, let me know if that's been of any use for, to any of you. And um, I, I would have loved to have seen something like this out, out there and uh, to have had an opportunity to um, see a, a video like this before I'd purchased these, um, uh, the, these uh, decks. So um, I haven't really seen one that, uh, yeah, I haven't really seen one and hence I've decided to, to do this. Uh, but I won't be doing many quick looks or or, tar or deck reviews on my on my channel. I think uh, 
uh, unless I get another Minky Arte uh, um, deck, I probably won't do another one. I thank you all uh, for um, stopping by and watching this video. I hope it's been of some help to you and um, wishing you very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.